Plexus 2D is a finite element software for two-dimensional analysis of deformation and stability in geotechnical engineering. This software can be used by geotechnical, mining, and hydraulic structures engineers. This version has many new features in comparison with previous versions. In order to start the program, let's go to Start, All Programs, then go to the Plexis. Plexis has four different sections, which are Plexis Input, Plexis Calculation, Plexis Output, and Plexis Curves. Let's start and click Plexus Input. The, the Plexus will be opened and the new window is going to be opened. This, this window is for create a slash open project. As, as, you, as you can see, the open has two sections. New project is the existing project. In existing project, you can find the previous opened files And if you can't find those, you can go to the more files and browse your, your file. All of the Plexus files have the extension .plx at the end. Since we are going to start a new project, so let's check new project and then Click OK. As you can see, the, all of the pre, all of the below sections are gonna be disabled. Let's click OK. The next general setting window will be opened. As you can see, it has two tabs: project and dimensions. In the project, you can define file name, directory and title. For instance, you can you can rename the title to test. If you click set as default, all of the changes will be in the default situation. In the general, you have two options, model and elements. Model has two options, plane strain and axial symmetry. Let's go with plane strain. The definition of these terms is exactly like the finite element modeling. For the elements also, you have two options, 50 nodes, and six nodes. Let's go with, with 15 nodes. And in the bottom section, you can find the acceleration part. It is telling you that the gravity angle is minus 90 degree and it is 1G. We don't have to change that because it's fine. For going to the next step, Next tab, you, are going, you can click the next or you click the dimension tab. At, in here, you can see and change the length unit, force, or time. There are different unit systems that you can choose. For this system, we are going to go, for this example, we are going to go with the default and SI unit. If you want, you can change these units, but here we don't need that. And also you can find the stress and weight unit as mentioned on the screen. For the geometry dimensions, you can change the geometry. We don't have to change that. The default is okay. 
the unit system is meter and we don't change that and in the grid you can change the spacing of the grid and also change the number of intervals we don't touch that and just click OK input, input window will be opened the name is no name you can change that after saving the file as you can see you can find the grids the intention of this window is creating the model and the geometry of your problem statement you can mesh and modify your dimension and geometry here this window has many sections you can see the main menu and also geometry toolbars there is a ruler in the perimeter of your work area and also you can find the XY coordinate system and also in the bottom section there is a there is a section in order to put the coordinates manually 